Hope you're in the mood for a sweet treat. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Chef Stephen Piles is whipping up for us tonight. Hi there, I'm Stephen Piles. One of my favorite things about summer is all the fresh and ripe fruit that's so bountiful right now in all the markets. And you know, nothing says summer quite like peach cobbler or its cousin, the crisp. Today we're serving peach and blueberry crisp with ginger ice cream. The first thing I want to do is just mix up my fruit. I've got these incredible peaches from the hill country. These are Fredericksburg peaches, some of the best in the world. These are uh, don't even need much sugar. We're going to put a little bit in there, but I've got them just peeled and sliced. And now we've got some uh, blueberries actually from East Texas in the Tyler area. So this is an all Texas dessert. I'm going to add to that just some a uh, little bit of sugar. You know, taste the fruit first and you'll know how much sugar to put, but this is just a couple tablespoons. And then uh, I always put a little bit of acidic uh, nature to it. So this is a little lemon and then a little powdered ginger that's going to kind of tie in nicely with the ginger ice cream. So we're going to just stir that up and then let it let it kind of macerate for uh, for a little while to, while you're making the topping. And I'm going to just put all this stuff in here. First thing I want to do is add my butter. This is just a little room temperature butter. I'm going to put brown sugar and I've got a little all-purpose flour. My oats. This is just stone ground oats. Good, again, Texas pecans. I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of ground cinnamon and some ground nutmeg. You just really want to just kind of break up the butter and cut the butter into the flour, into the brown sugar with your fingertips. That way you just kind of know when it's all blended nicely. And then I have a 9 by 9 Pyrex, just a, a glass Pyrex here that I have buttered lightly. So I'm going to put my macerated blueberries and peaches on the bottom. Just kind of spread those out, get them really nicely dis distributed. Then I'm going to just put my uh, topping, just kind of sprinkle that right on top, spread it out there. That couldn't be simpler, huh? Now that's going to go into a 350 degree oven for about 30 to 35 minutes. But see how it kind of bubbled around the sizes, sides there? That's what we're looking for. It's, when it's uh, done, that's the way it looks. Scoop some in here into a serving dish. Let's get some of those good juices. Make sure that you get lots of fruit juices around. Here's my ginger ice cream. I'm just going to put that right on top. It's a beautiful dish. Now, what would I serve with that? How about an adult beverage? A little, uh, little sparkly here, a little bubbly. Looking good there. Nothing better than Texas crisp and French champagne.